Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the material balance in uh, non-reactive systems and doing the degrees of freedom calculations. Uh, but first I'll, I'll start with the um, uh, introduction to the degrees of freedom and the uh, material balance calculations first. And um, actually it's pretty simple rule, uh, if you don't have uh, reactions with non-reactive system then it's just the summation of uh, the species or streams that, is, that are coming, uh, going into the system are equal to the summation of the steam streams uh, uh, that are coming out of the system so actually like for for example in these two uh, cases you have a mixer and the splitter and in this mixer you have four streams coming in and just one stream coming outside and there is nothing happened inside you're just mixing everything and the same here for the splitter you have one stream going in and four streams coming out so the equation would be the same for all the total flow rate uh, of one two three and four equals to the flow rate of five which is pretty uh, intuitive and straightforward and the same thing if you have a distillation column and you have an absorber uh, in this case you have a feed and a distillate and bottom product so f equals d plus w and the same here you have l node plus vn plus 1 equals uh, v1 plus ln and um, uh, when we do the material balance we can do uh, two things so the first is overall material balance which is the material balance over the whole flow rate you don't go into each species you just uh, do its uh, overall on, e on on the flow rate of each stream um, and the component material balance when you do this calculations for each component uh, in the system and uh, we will see how we do these calculations right now so let's say in this example you have this uh, distillation column you have this feed with the composition bf t f and xf and the same for d and w and uh, when you do the the overall material balance calculation you just say that the flow rate on the feed equals the distillate plus the uh, w which is the bottom product you don't care about all these B, T and X uh, concentrations however when you go into the component material balance you need to do it for each species as we said before so what we are going to say that the B that's going into the system equals B that's coming in the distillate and B that's coming into the bottom product and the same for T and for X so um, in this case you have one overall equation and three component material balance equation which is equals to the, the, the number of components you have however uh, these equations are are considered only three equations not or not four because the summation of these three equations is gonna give you the the, the overall material balance equation so usually um, uh, this is an important point that uh, you can use three equations of these because the fourth equation will be dependent on uh, all these equations um, so going back to the degrees of freedom why we do uh, the degrees or what does, does the degrees of freedom do so it indicates the solvability of the system so you can know if the system can be solved or the information you have uh, are not enough the second thing it uh, or, or how, how we calculate it so you can calculate it by um, ca uh, calculating the number of variables we have and by uh, subtracting all the uh, information you have here subtract the number of equations the number of given relations uh, and given variables and um, you can only solve the system if the degrees of freedom equals zero if not it can be over specified or under specified as we are gonna see right now so let's do the degrees of freedom for this uh, distillation column that we have here you know the the flow rate uh, of each component in the feed but you know nothing about the top or the bottom product so what we are gonna do now is that we are calculating the number of variables we have here one two three variables three and three so it's nine variables um, again uh, we have here only three variables the, f the total flow rate is not considered the variable because it's dependent on these three so you can consider uh, this as only three and then you have nine variables uh, how many equations you can do you can do equations equal to the number of variables you have so you have three uh, balance equation we know three uh, uh, three variables here which is the, the, com the f component flow rate of each of one of the feeds and then you have uh, no additional relation you have three given variables and then the degrees of freedom will be 9 minus 3 minus 0 minus 3 which is equal to 3 so uh, it, it's positive positive which means that your system is under specified and it 
cannot be solved with all this with, with the, the given um, uh, very uh, with the given um, information because it's not enough to solve the system um, and let's see the other case when you have this thing and but the, the, the now we know three flora or three compositions here and three compositions here so we have nine variables we have three equations nothing of this will change we know no uh, relations but now we ha we know that we have three components here which is three flow rates and then we have here three compositions and three composition but as we did with this flow rate and the three composite three flow rates here um, the summation of all these flow rates or, or composition sorry is equal to one so you know that these uh, three variables or three three numbers would sum up to to be one at the end of the day so if you know two then you you, you know the third one so you consider these as two uh, variables no known variables and this is two known variables not three um, so here you know we have three and two and two which is seven uh, seven given variables and then the degrees of freedom is going to be negative one and it's less than zero which means that it's over specified or the information you have is much more than what you need you need you have you have conflict in the information uh, in this case so why you do the decrease of freedom so first we said it uh, you can you can know each one of the units you have in the system if if it's solvable or not and the process itself the whole flow sheet can be solved or not and how can you solve the system like what's the sequence and the technique that you're gonna um, do to solve your system so uh, how we do this that's gonna we that's what we're gonna see right now so uh, let's have this uh, distillation train uh, it's xylene styrene toluene and benzene and um, it goes to this uh, first tower and then uh, it the distillate is goes into another distillation column and the bottom product goes into another distillation column and we know the compositions of all the uh, uh, components in the uh, output streams and the input stream we don't know anything about the intermediate streams so we prefer in in this case because I have a lot of uh, um, units. Uh, we prefer to put it in a table, like what we see here. And you put the unit, the number of variables, equations, given variables, additional relations, and then you calculate the degrees of freedom at the bottom row. So let's take it one by one. So for the first column, we know that. Um, we have four components going into the system and four coming out of, of, of this uh, in, in, in each one of these two streams so we have 12 uh, variables and we have four equations because there are four components we know that there is flow rate and the four compositions which is so I know the composition of the four components which is four given variables no additional relations so the degrees of freedom is four so I cannot solve this unit um, uh, and for the second column we have four for it's almost the same we have four components into the system four here and four here then we have 12 we have four equations we know uh, three given variables here and three given variables here as we agreed last time the in the previous slide so we have six given variables and we have no additional relations and in this case the degrees of freedom equals two which is the same case for the uh, third column as well so now I cannot solve any one of these uh, units so does this mean that uh, the system is not solvable uh, I cannot say that because uh, I cannot tell if the process itself or the whole flow sheet is solvable or not from the individual unit uh, I can do this with the process what is the process I um, calculate the whole or do uh, degrees of freedom for the whole system and check if this is gonna be um, uh, solvable or not so let's see how we do this so I calculate the total number of variables we have here so I have uh, one two three four five six seven seven streams and each stream has twin uh, has four uh, components then we have 28 variables and uh, to calculate the number of equation by summation by summing the number of equation in each one of these units so you have 12 um, 12 equations and uh, the given variables we have here uh, four and three in each one of these so we have 16 and no additional relation and then the degrees of freedom is going to be zero so this zero is or this number is the number that i depend on to tell if the process is solvable or not and since it's zero now so i can solve this uh, unit 
or I mean this flow sheet but I cannot solve uh, any individual uh, unit of this unit so uh, there are many techniques to uh, go through this but first you might need to try something it may make uh, your life easier a little bit by trying what's called the overall uh, material blend over the whole flow sheet so you can do this for the whole flow sheet or for uh, like any set of, uh, of units which is taking a loop like this and doing the floor or the, the degrees of freedom over this uh, loop so you don't care what's going on inside you just do the uh, degrees of freedom over uh, all the units that you have here um, and you can do this for column 1 and 2 for column 2 and 3 for column 1 2 and 3 it, it's it's up to you you can take whatever thing that you want but we I, I took this loop because there are a lot of information from the output and from the input that so it might be easier to solve so for the overall we have uh, how many variables we have here f uh, five streams each stream has four components then I then there are 20 and we have four equations we know uh, that we have 16 given variables and no additional relations so the process uh, or the overall degrees of freedom is gonna be zero so this can tell us that you can solve the overall which means that if you solve the overall then you can know all the unknown variables that are in these streams which is the flow rate uh, in d1 b1 d2 and b2 and then you can think of the sequence of the solution that you can do which is first you can solve this as we said and get the um, uh, D1, B1, D2 and B2 and then you have two informations added to column 2 so the degrees of freedom should be 0 now and then you can get the composition and flow rates in the stream D and the same for column number 3 and then the whole system is solved now um, and this is the degrees of freedom and we will solve this in the next video inshallah. thanks